Okay, guys. I may have found my my Nirvana, but something tells me it's too windy. I can't tell you where this is. This is like this is a It's about a mile and a quarter long. It's only an eighth mile wide. In some places it's a quarter mile wide, but right right here it's an eighth of a mile. And uh, we've, we've got Gage here. I, I got her at the end over here and chained off. She's very unpredictable. She can chew on your stuff quite easily. And, uh, um, you know what I'm saying? It's not, not good. Not good at all. But this, there's an infinite, infinite amount of trails here. I don't know if you see the trail up over the hill over here. But there's trails that go all up through this mountain here. You can't see this mountain behind us here because there's this hill here, but all through there also. And, uh, you know, the water temperature, I thought it would be freezing, but it's not that bad. You know, if I did any, any uh, paddleboarding here, windsurfing, windsurfboarding, uh, you know, I certainly would wear a wetsuit, you know, because I do take a plunge quite often. And, uh, we had a problem. I accidentally hit the switches on my lights on the Jeep here. And all of these lights were on for about four hours. My battery was completely dead. I mean, not even a spark in it. But I do carry a jump and carry. I put it on there, walked over to the ignition. Boom! That jump and carry is a 770 JNC. And, uh, it kicks some ass. I mean, you know, it can probably jumpstart my Jeep 10 times <laughs> before it needs to charge. And I do have a trickle charger. I can trickle charge it, but it's fine. You know, it jumped me. It can jump that. It can jump anything. You know, it jumped my Jeep. You know, I, I like I said, I accidentally, I threw something up on the, da on the dash and I hit the switches. And it was broad daylight, so I didn't know that they were hit. And I'll show you the two switches. These two switches, I, they flipped on, and uh, I didn't know it. So I know they were on for about four hours. I figured they were on for four hours. And when I left, I, I put the alarm on the Jeep, and the, the horn beeps, of course, right? And it beeps so faintly. It's like, beep, you know, like way less than what it normally sounds like. And uh, I was like, it didn't come. So I hit it again. And it did the same thing, and it's that fucking, you know. So to find out, my battery was dying. But uh, we start, we bumped it up. And uh, we're going to hit these lights tonight for you. Like I said, I only have three of them on. But, man, those spot beams, they will shine to the other side of the lake. You, you'll be able to see somebody over there fishing. But, um, anyways... We are here. We don't have the uh, paddle board, windsurf paddle windsurf board with me today, but I will bring it. You know, I can carry it on the trailer underneath the Can Am Maverick, so uh, it's uh, not a problem to take it. And uh, you know, we'll take it on the next trip for sure. I, I do like this place. I just hope. I hope that it's not windy. If it's windy like this, like three out of four days, I can live with it. Because you do need a little bit of wind, but you would think this is dusk right now, and you would think that it would, would be dying down, but it's not. So, uh, you know, who knows? Maybe this is like a... I mean, look at these trees. You see how they're bent over? That means it's pretty much blows here all the time. When you see a tree grow sideways, that means it's being pushed over by the wind. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna make me something to eat. I haven't decided. I think it's gonna be a bowl of chili tonight. And oh yeah, no cowboy hats. Sorry, too windy for cowboy hats. They'll fly away. You know. So uh, I decided to wear my cat hat tonight. But uh, anyways, we are. I just wanted to point out a few things. And Uh, you know, a mile and a quarter long. She, uh, 
at this point over here it's probably a half mile wide so uh you know it's not too bad man it's it's a pretty nice little place anyways that's it